Now that is how you get animals to emote, and that is how you get me emotionally attached to these animals as characters. Lion King, take notes. So last night I decided instead of going out to the movies that I would save a few bucks and get some money's worth out of the bucks I've already spent on Disney Plus. And on Disney Plus they have a new live action remake of one of their classic Disney animated films, Lady and the Tramp. So I decided since I already paid for the service and that was technically free and I didn't have to go see a new movie and spend some money, I would just stay in last night and watch Lady and the Tramp. Now, I was never a huge fan of the Lady and the Tramp animated film. I always liked it. I always thought it was cute and sweet, but it was never one of the Disney movies that I always revisited and watched over and over again. So going into the Lady and the Tramp remake, I wasn't too worried about it. If it sucked, I wasn't going to care that much. And if it was really good, I'd be really happy. And honestly, I was pretty pleased with Lady and the Tramp. So I wanted to jump on camera and give my thoughts and opinions about it. If you've seen Lady and the Tramp on Disney Plus and you wanted to give your thoughts and opinions about it, I welcome you to do so and I'd love for you to do so. Just comment all your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below and let's get a fun conversation going. And with all that out of the way, let's talk about the 2019 live remake adaptation of Lady and the Tramp. So as mentioned before, Lady and the Tramp was released on Disney+, Plus, directed by Charlie Bean and starring Tessa Thompson as Lady and Justin Thurox as the lovable street dog Tramp. When a household cocker spaniel named Lady meets a street dog named Tramp, their worlds collide as they embark, no pun intended, on a journey of friendship and romance. So as mentioned before, Lady and the Tramp is not one of my favorite animated Disney movies. I always thought it was just kind of okay, kind of sweet, kind of cute, but not one that I constantly went to to revisit. So I kind of skimmed through the original animated film in order to get familiar with it to see what this new live adaptation was going to be like compared to the original animated film. And from what I gathered from that viewing of the animated feature, what this new live action remake of this Disney animated film does is what, in my opinion, all of the live action remake of these Disney animated films should be doing. Because Lady and the Tramp really doesn't stray that much from its source material. It's very similar in its story structure and in its story beats of how it tells this tale. But while this new live action Lady and the Tramp movie doesn't stray too far from its source material and stays very close to its story, it also expands upon the story, adds new elements, and adds new and extended scenes into the mix, which makes it feel like a completely different viewing experience from the original animated feature. When these live action remakes are the worst for me, is when they're a shot by shot remake of the animated feature, but none of it feels like it's done better or feels like it has a purpose for existing. Yeah, I'm looking at you. I might be in the minority. Not a big fan of that one. And yes, I gave Lion King a pass, but let's move on. That's a balance that I thought Aladdin found pretty well when it came out. It definitely had parts where it felt like it was copy and paste from the original movie, but it also had parts that feel like they were new and fresh and they were making it kind of their own movie, especially with Will Smith as their genie. In Lady and the Tramp, while they follow the story beats and kind of the story structure of the animated feature, by having these scenes extended and also switching up the locations and the way that the scenes are done, makes it feel like a different viewing experience from the animated feature. I didn't feel like I was watching the exact same movie again, which I really appreciated about this new live action Lady and the Tramp movie. They're able to make it have the heart and feel and what made the original animated feature so beloved, but they were also able to do things and change up the story enough to make it feel like their own and make it feel like they weren't just trying to do the same thing over again. And the biggest positive and the reason this Lady and the Tramp remake worked for me is the performances and the characters of the dogs in this movie, Lady and Tramp in particular. Now speaking animals and dogs talking in movies is not a new concept to film, but the best ones that are done in my opinion, they're the ones that make the dogs feel like characters, the ones that make them feel like they're making these choices on their own within the movie. They don't feel like dogs performing because someone has a treat off stage. They feel like the characters within the movie and within the environment making these decisions spontaneously and on their own for the story. But Lady and the Tramp pulls this off with aces. The dogs in this movie, I don't know who their trainers are, but they are so good in this movie. It's not just the dogs, it's also the direction of Charlie Bean. The way that he's able to make these dogs and these animals and these and these pets feel like they're actual characters and making their own decisions on their own within the story is really impressive. I never felt like I was watching dogs that were like, oh, their trainer's just off to the side telling them that, hey, it, hey, if you sit down, you'll get this treat, you'll get this treat. They felt like real characters and they also all had distinct personalities which made me way more attached to each single one. They all had great banter between one another. Since the dogs in this movie are supposed to be the main characters and the ones that we were supposed to get attached to on a character level, I thought they pulled that off really well especially with Lady and Tramp. They nailed the casting of not only the look of these dogs, 
but the way that these dogs play off of each other, it's really weird to judge chemistry on dogs, but I felt the chemistry between these dogs. And it helps that they have those CGI faces that make them emote and talk and feel more like actual characters. But they did a really great job with the Lady and the Tramp relationship in this movie. It felt like it did in the original animated feature. And I mean, they made me care about these two dogs and their romantic feelings for each other. What more can I say about that? They pulled it off on a tremendous level. I got emotionally invested in these dogs and I wanted them to find love. I... what? And the voice acting on all the dogs and all the characters is so on point. Tessa Thompson as Lady and Justin Thorax as Tramp brings so much personality and character to these two dogs that they are voicing. And that was also so important because it helped the illusion even more that these were not just trained dogs on a set. They felt like actual characters. And it wasn't just Tessa Thompson and Justin Thorax. Every single voice actor for the dogs in this movie are so good. I want to name them all off, but that would take so long. I will say, though, that one of the standouts for me was Sam Elliott as the dog Trusty. His voice and the way that he speaks worked so well for his character and actually led to a lot of humorous moments. That's another thing about this movie is they do what remakes are supposed to be doing, and that is updating the material for audiences of today to connect to. And they add a lot more humor in The Lady and the Tramp than I remember there being in the original animated feature, and it's really good. The banter between all the dogs is really funny. They have some great lines in there, some great characterizations through the dialogue. And this movie actually got more than a few chuckles out of me, which I was very pleased with. Hey, hi. Are you two uh, twins? I'm her husband, pal. The only negatives I had about this Lady and the Tramp remake is um, the CGI on the dogs at times looked like it was blended in quite well, but at other times it was pretty distracting. They put these like CGI mouths and eyes on them which does help them emote and does help the characters have facial expressions which help you connect to them on a more emotional and personal level. But at other times the CGI was so glossy and not so blended in that it was kind of distracting for me and took me out of the movie. They also have a couple songs in the movie that they had from the animated feature. They also changed some of them up. For example, the We Are Siamese Cats song sequence that's kind of dated and could see as racially offensive nowadays. They do have that sequence in the movie, but they changed the song to a different melody and lyrics. It actually works really well though for the scene that they put into the movie. But they also have a couple other songs in the movie that are from the animated feature, but when they come in, this movie's not set up to be a musical. The, the songs don't come in until very late into the movie, so when they do, I found them pretty jarring. They felt kind of out of place and they felt kind of odd. It reminded me of when Christopher Walken sings Ooby Doo, I Want to Be Like You in the Jungle Book movie, where that movie didn't really have any music in it to begin with, and then all of a sudden there's this musical number with a giant ape. It had that kind of feeling in Lady and the Tramp. But besides those few negatives, I actually really enjoyed this Lady and the Tramp remake. It did what the Disney live action remakes I feel should be doing. It updated the material, it stayed close to the source material, but it felt like it made it its own and I didn't feel like I was watching a copy paste of the same movie that I've already seen before, which I really appreciated. It's really cute with all the dogs and the performances and the relationship between Lady and Tramp, I thought they got perfectly right and that's really important and essential for the movie, so good on them for that. The casting of the dogs are all great. They look like they're right out of the animated feature. All of the voice acting top to bottom was great and brings a lot of character and personality out of these performing dogs. It's really cute. It's a really great family film. If you have Disney Plus or you're thinking of getting to Disney Plus as a trial and you want to have a family movie night, I think that this is a great movie for the whole family to enjoy. For me personally, it's among one of my favorite of the Disney live action remakes that they've done so far. Anyway guys, those are all my thoughts and opinions on the 2019 remake of Lady and the Tramp. Have you seen it yet? Or are you thinking of seeing it? Comment down below, let me know. I want to know all your thoughts and opinions about this movie. And as always guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video and checking out my channel. Once again, my name is Zachary Milne. Thank you for talking movies with me. And hope you have yourself a great day.